In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to import files into Vinyl Master. Now to do that, I'm going to just create a new page like this. And what we do is we come up to the File menu up here, and we come down to Import, and we get a standard type import window here, along with specialist import windows depending on the type of file we wish to import. I'll click on the standard one first. We're just presented with sort of a, a standard type import window here. If we click on this, we can see the sorts of files we can import images and uh, PDF files, EPS files, so vectors and images, all those sorts of things. So I'll just select one of these in here. We'll click, say, this Dairy Foods one here. Click Open. Now I get presented with a paste cursor. If I just pressed Enter uh, or click my button here, I would just get it at full size. If I left click and hold down, I see a preview as I drag it out. And a size, as you can see, let go, and there's the object there that we've imported. Now I can go uh, Control W on the keyboard or click down this button down here and see it in wireframe and you can see all the curves here. So and this is completely editable as, as normal. So that's how you import a file more generically. If I want to import a file more specifically, click File, Import. I come down here and I might say click on an image. Now I get presented with a different type of window. Now this window is different in the sense that it presents you with uh, thumbnails, large thumbnails with information about each file. So if I click on that one there, we can see where it is, we can see how many files are in this particular folder, um, and we can select different uh, image formats here. But one thing this window does do which is handy is you can click on this button up in the top right corner here, show preview, and you get a much larger preview. You see what sort of image it is, uh, and you see the image size. And I've, you can actually slide this out here and you can put this away and make this larger and, if, and you can maximize this on the screen if you wanted to to get a very large preview of the image that you were looking at. The only thing this folder uh, or this particular selector does which is unusual is it doesn't, in thumbnail view up here, it doesn't actually show you folders within here. So if I go to the sample folder here that I'm in, you'll see I can't see any folders. To see those folders I need to look at icon view, list view or the details view so that I can actually see the folders. That's done on purpose because this particular file or this this loader or import window will usually only open up in the window that's actually relevant to what you're doing. In other words, we've designed it so it actually remembers where you went to the last time and it will show you the uh, the sort of artwork that you want to bring in, either the images or the um, corporate clip art or the road signs or whatever they happen to be. So that's the reason why it works that way because we want to give you a large preview here on the right. So if I click open here, same thing, cursor, drag out, and there's my image. Now I can also insert an image from up here, insert an image there, or I can come down to this button down here and insert an image there. These things do exactly the same thing, and I can click and bring in an image like that. So that's how we bring in an image. Let's have a look at the other ones we've got here. If I import a graphic, same as the generic type one where it just shows you both, most of the graphic type files which are the PDF, AIs, EPSs and the like. Um, so I could bring in say this France thing here, same thing as usual, bring it in and there it is ready to go. So that's how you bring in a graphic type image. Now another one will be uh, a, a Vinyl Master logo. Now these are uh, files that you can create using all the special effects and things and save them off as a logo. Now the advantage with logos is, is that they're like a sort of like a page image of their own that come in independently of an actual page. So they're sort of, in a sense, they're a bit like symbols, and um, you can import those as separate objects and bring those into uh, into your documents. And that's a handy way of not having to save an entire document with some special effect that you've got that you want to say maybe populate in a series of different documents. So that's how we bring in logos. Okay, import here. Now we've got corporate logos. Again, um, this this special window comes up. You can see it's come straight into the right position, exactly where we want it to come. Um, and this will be handy for you because uh, in the full set of corporate logos, you'll see the whole 80 odd thousand of them if you've got Vinyl Master uh, Expert. Now you can see here, I can just select any of these here. Uh, I click open and click it, and there it is there like that. So that's how you bring in a corporate logo. Uh, you can also come down here, in corporate logos, same thing. There you go, it's as simple as that. And the other thing you can import here is road and related signs. So again, it opens in the right position. We can select on what we're looking for. 
we can see a bigger preview of it if we want to, make it bigger, etc. And I click open and just click like that and there's that uh, there's that piece of uh, well road sign there. And finally, the old uh, legacy format of Vinyl Master, uh, Vinyl Master Pro version 1 through 299. You can also bring those files. This is how you import these files or open them in this later version of Vinyl Master. You click on here like this, and we have all these uh, old sample files that we've got here. Easy shapes, click open, and it opens in its own page here. So you can see these shapes that were designed originally in the old Vinyl Master, they still retain their. Um, their nodes uh, and their power nodes which is a good thing to have so you can still use them as normal um, so that's how you bring in the uh, the older Vinyl Master files and that's how you import into Vinyl Master that's the end of this lesson